so uh, guys Massey is a system building masterclass customer and a friend of mine and he's done a lot of work um, testing a couple of systems and then eventually found the bones of a system that he liked and he fleshed it out with an incredible amount of work uh, and is now trading it live and and uh, I just wanted to talk to you about your process like where did you start what had you done before why didn't it work before and then what have you done to suddenly make it work you mean trading in general or, or the or the system in particular <laughs> I mean trading in let's start with trading in general well I think it's uh, something that uh, you um, you point out in your material you know straight away where uh, the, the, the that discretionary trading that um, everyone attempts and um, it's uh, it's you know for, for for years, I've kind of wasted wasted time <laughs> with that, <laughs> you know. And uh, and then uh, thanks to um, you, your material, and uh, you know, and probably, you know, it's, it's not all down to me. This is this is on you. You've done a tremendous amount yeah. of work, and you've got a great result. Yeah, but I think it's fair to say also that the, the, the um, you know the saying. I think it's an oriental saying that when the student is ready, the teacher shows up. Right. So it's uh, you, I think, and I think it's in one of the first emails that I wrote to you. I said, "Look, I'm fed up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go hard on this, and uh, I'm gonna get it. You know, because I guess I recognized." That uh, um, you know where where the issue was, and the issue was um, that uh, discretionary trading is way too hard. Yeah, it is. And uh, and, and and look, look I um, it, it, because I've done the meditations, I've you know I even done some Venta workshops and home study courses, and, uh, and so in, in terms of theoretical knowledge. I think you know I've accumulated quite a bit, but the problem always was, always been that that sticking to a system. If there's too much discretion, it's incredibly, incredibly difficult. You know, unless you get to that level that you've done it for twenty years and. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. oh, Maybe maybe a little bit less, but you know, you have to start. You have to start, and 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 then this, you know, it, it's what makes the difference is that you have to start with a objective method, and um, you know, and, and build from there. But it's very hard to stick to it at the beginning. Okay, so so let's talk about the process. So you. You started off with the, the stuff in the system building masterclass, and and you went through the uh, the goals and the belief process, and you and it sort of narrowed down what sort of system was going to be suitable for you, right? Um, e, well, yes and no. In the in the in the sense that uh, you suggested to me that uh, that idea for the system, and I said, well, um, you know. I'll start testing it and see, you know, and through the process of testing, um, I realize, well, this, you know, this can work for me. So you know, it's not, I think, I think you really need to test. So, the, so, the, so this is the key point that I'm trying to get at is that I can tell you all kinds of stuff. Like, you know, I, I tell people um, um, interesting stuff on the list every day, but a very small percentage of those are going to translate that into a professional trading career because you actually have to get off your ass and do your work. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 in fact, the thing that I told you that's the basis of your system, I've already sent it in emails that you've opened like more than five times. Yeah. But until you actually did the work, um, and, and what I noticed with you in your process is as you were doing the work, I could see this sort of 
authentic expertise start to blossom. So you weren't just a guy who knew a couple of rules. After you'd actually been through years of, uh, of, of testing, you were you were someone who knew, who had intuition and instinct about this system, and you was. Yeah, it was it was really interesting to watch the watch you go, just from doing the work from. You know, an, an interested amateur to a real expert, and to me, that was the that was the fascinating process of it. Just by doing, and it 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 took you a bit longer than you thought, right? Yeah. Look, look. How long did you take? When I started, uh, I started off. Well, I decided, okay, let's. Obviously, this is a, a daily chart based mm -hmm. system, so it's not uh, it's not an intraday, and uh, and uh, and I just I just decided to test currency pairs over a 10-year period mm -hmm. and uh, and I did that uh, you know click by click on, on MetaTrader so you, you really you really need to go slow and I started off with uh, Euro USD and, uh, and and look to do 10, 10 years of you know testing uh, manually on Euro USD which was my first pair. Well, it took me a week, right? Mm -hmm. But not, but not, not a week of, of you know after work. A, a week full time. Yeah. You and, know, and, and now when you hours a day. Now, when you and test a, a currency pair, how long does it take? You, you must be quicker now. Now, now it would take me one day. Like six hours, maybe something like that. So, the, so, so this is an interesting point. That's the sticking point that most people get stuck on. They go, I can't program, so how am I going to backtest? And they think, okay, I'll break out the Excel and and I'll start doing it, you know, like you did it. And then the first day they go, oh, this is going to take me a year, and then they give up. That's the first sticking point that people reach. They go, I can't do this, but but. You know the essential lesson from this is you get to that point, you push through it, and then and then by the and by the end of it, you're cranking out these back tests so fast. Like I, I remember Daniel did a, a five year walk forward on on six hour FX charts, and it didn't take him like it it took him three weeks, but it was five hours of intraday trading, five five years of intraday trading, and it was you know it's quite remarkable how quickly you can get things done. Yeah, yeah. So that that first that first week, obviously, you know, uh, that's that's where the, the expertise started to build up because uh, it, that's where you your subconsciously or whatever you you start recognizing that specific pattern. And and now you've done many many pairs of testing before you even went live. You effectively had compressed. 15 years of trading well into a couple of into a couple of months and so now you are actually a legitimate expert and 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 now you're trading for real money right mm, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, small small, small but, yeah. but that's that's where we yeah. should start yeah, yeah you know and and by the way I um, kind of made my first mistake <laughs> well this is uh this is an interesting <laughs> topic for you because uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's interesting feelings that come up around that. Uh, but I, but I'm okay. It's, uh, it's not, uh, it's not. It has to do with, uh, with the stop placement. Just be kind so, to yourself about that stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not something. Oh, oh my God! How oh my stupid God. I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, know, I was, took it. Yeah. Was just trying to get that a little bit better risk reward, you know. And, uh, and, uh, was that the and one I, you, you jumped in on I, the entry on on the? You entered late and got a better entry, right? No, no, no. What I did in, instead of uh, uh, placing the stock below the significant low, I placed it below the mother bar of an inside bar that came after that. So it it, it still still did time. have. It had things it had going logic to it, mm -hmm. you know. It, it wasn't, it wasn't totally, and 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 I don't know yet whether it's going to work. It actually cost money. Okay, so yeah. um, on 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 a, we we have this spectrum of of, of uh, completely discretional, do whatever you want on one end, and and absolutely mechanical, 
you have to follow the rules. Everywhere, every system is somewhere on the spectrum. So where are you? You're cl you're like 90, 95% mechanical or 98% mechanical, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, for the time being, let's say 95%, mm -hmm. 95%. I do have, I do have one rule, one rule that I added where, where um, we have uh, the the Bollinger Band that is violated twice, right? And let's say the second violation is uh, le um, sort of uh, closer than the first one. Mm -hmm. So the stop can go. I understand. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. So and you, you have a that, that, that's not a hard rule. That's that's an option. So that's you, uh, discretion. You have a, a very simple system with very few rules, which is. Yeah. So simple systems are not fragile; they're more robust. Um, uh, they tend to they they work forever. So you have a little bit of freedom to add a little bit of flexibility. Whereas if you if you made your system too complicated at the start, you wouldn't have any any freedom to change or add or. No, particular particularly what's very good is the the entry. The entry is you know absolutely it's mechanical. Yeah. You're rock solid. That you know, that, that and that sort of you put the order in, and just and see what happens. So, <laughs> so, so in a, in a practical sense, um, your actual trading is much easier than your preparing to trade has been, right? Yes. yes. So you place the orders at one time a day, like I do with my systems, yep. and yep. then you yep. and you walk away. You're not screen watching. No, I'm, I mean, uh, I, uh, I check, I check, I check on my phone and see, see, but, but I don't, I don't sit at the computer to see how the trade is going. And and ultimately, that's probably going to go like if you don't check, if you don't check, it's not the end of the world, right? No, no, no. Also, because I don't have, I, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, changing anything. I'm not messing around with so. There's not, there's not even point checking really. But it's, uh, it's <laughs> you're, you're watching a football game, right? It's like a sport. It's a sports event. So you're mm -hmm. a you're a spectator. You're yeah. not a participant at that point. That's right. That's right. But you know, get, getting back to what we were, uh, we, we started with. You know, that it took me one week to do one pair, and then and uh, and I sent you an email. You know, I was very excited. Uh, then uh, I. Did another pair which was USD JPY, and that went really, you know, well too. Then I thought that I even uh, I could put a filter on it, you know, a trend filter, and make it even better. Although with with a lot less, a lot less trades. And then I tested USD CAD, and that was a disaster. disaster. And, uh, I, you know, and uh, and I was depressed because you know this is fuck. This is not going to work. So, so, th so this is an this is an interesting situation. We think that okay, you you have these mechanical rules. It's going to save you from those strong feelings. But even on a back test, testing something that's your own idea that you've latched onto oh, yeah. with an ego, it brings oh. up these strong feelings. It's depressing, and it's really uh, depressing. Even, even just hey, it's depressing because you think, oh gee, I thought I thought this this system was going to work, and uh, and, and it doesn't. So then, then what you do, you you just keep going. Then uh, you know, don't give up. Do you know? Spend the other few hours to finish that test, even though you've already seen that it's not working. But just complete it. Okay. So this is an interesting thing. This is one of the things that's separating a, a winning trader from a losing trader. Is you you started testing a pair that wasn't going your way, and instead of throwing that in the bottom drawer like a gambler who's ripping up the tickets and forgetting about them, you actually do the difficult thing which is facing that emotional pain and just keep going with the, the thing that is maybe not so much fun to do and there's no emotional payoff you know there's no there's no emotional joy in looking oh we lost we lost 10 r here there's that's you know it's like it's like eating a, a bowl of shit flavored ice cream you know <laughs> uh, that's right that's right and uh, yeah, that's that's very important uh, because then then you know, then you actually want to find another one that works. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and and in that in that process, we're we're sowing the seeds of curve fitting, right? So you have yeah. to be careful with yourself. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and overall, the system that you've built, um, we're confident that it's going to meet your goals. Um. Well. See, that's that's the other aspect. That it, uh, the the other aspect is uh, the goals and uh, and um, every every person, every trader has their own set of circumstances. And uh, you know, if like if I if I was a uh, if I had sort of only a small account, it wouldn't. You know, yeah, I wouldn't. No. So so based on my situation. This system uh, will meet my goals, you know. And everyone, and everyone's different. Right? Yeah, everyone is particularly, particularly. Uh, I think I sent to you a a back test of. Can't remember whether it was four or seven pairs, maybe seven pairs, and uh, you know, over the ten years, so that we would average about twenty hour a month, uh, twenty hour a year, twenty hour a year. Yeah, of course. If if you want to go for twenty percent a year, risking one percent, you know that's twenty percent a year. That's uh, that, so, that, 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 that. So let, so let's talk let's talk about the metrics of your system. From from memory, it was running yeah. at at point two eight expectancy, which for a pure mechanical system is really good. Yes. Um, yes. On, on those on the, on those on those uh, seven yes seven eight yeah and. and oh, you, and your SQN one hundred was two point four one from memory or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those are uh, great results. Those are uh, you know in, in in Van Tharp's classification, those are rated outstanding. Mm -hmm. So so to getting back to the question, is it going to meet my objectives? Let's say my objectives would ideally ideally it's it's you know a thirty percent a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so, and I thought, well, well, how how do I achieve that without having to increase my position size? Yeah, because obviously one percent, twenty twenty hour a year is twenty percent. So if you want a thirty percent, you need to increase to one point five. You either right? need you either need to take more trades or change your position sizing. Yeah. So so more trades. How do you do that? You expand. The number of markets that you're trading. So that and that's that's what that's the direction that I uh, that I've taken. Of course, you know. But of course, I'm gonna start off slowly. You know, adding you know one market at a time. So I th I think that's an important uh, important point to cover is that you're not like. Um, you know, you have the capital to trade whatever size you want, but you're not jumping in trading ten thousand dollar, twenty thousand dollar hours. You're starting very small, getting a track record, getting some, getting uh, you know a year of completely professional trading under your belt, making some money, proving to yourself that you can do this, so that you're you know you're so that you've prepared like a professional trader. You have a, a professional grade trading system, and you've proven to yourself that you've been able to implement that system at, at a, a performance level that any expert would be happy with. Once you've done all three of those things and you're keeping proper records, that's the whole box and dice of professional trading. There's nothing more. The, the best guys working in hedge funds, they don't do any more than that and in often cases they do a lot less. Yeah, yeah. And, and to get back so that people that don't have big accounts don't get depressed. I. If you if you are able to build a track record with a small account, then you also able to attract outside funds. Yes. So so this which, which is not something that I'm interested yeah, I mean, in. Yeah, me either. But but, uh, but that's uh, for for those that have small accounts. That's uh, well, and and small small accounts narrows it down. You're effectively limited to starting with intraday trading, and and yeah. you know it. Anyone who tells you that it's not uh, that it's not going to be more difficult starting with twenty thousand dollars than five hundred thousand dollars in any business is just lying to you. Of course, it's going to be. Of course, starting a business with 10, 20 grand is going to be more difficult than starting it with half a million bucks. You have less mistakes you can make. You have fewer options. You have to you have to shoulder more of the legwork yourself. You have to do more work. You know, if you're if you're running any business, 
you know, and, and you're starting it on a budget, you have to do take more work, which means take more trades, which means more time in front of the screen, which means more. You know, there's you know, and there's there's just no way around that. That's just a the reality. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, I've really enjoyed working with you, and and well, of course, it's not over yet. We've got a lot more work to do, but but <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just so happy that that uh, you've been able to take the knowledge that that we set down, and you've been able to apply it in a in a systematic fashion. And and you know what what pleases me is is that you know statistically, very few people who've actually bought the system building masterclass actually get the right result because most of them are unwilling to do the work. And yeah. uh, and you know, there's maybe six go- six to ten guys who've done really well, and, and you're one of them. And out of the you know 150 who've bought the course, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's important that we pay credit to that. So. Thank you Thank so you. much, Matthew. Enjoy. So you you're off to Italy for three weeks. Yes. Yeah, for three weeks. Yeah. In, in and uh, you know, and I'll be able to um, keep trading. Of course you will. Because yeah, <laughs> I traded from Italy last year too. It's great. It's easy. Uh, no stress. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye.